Hello chess friends and welcome to the start of chess channel and welcome to my chess tactics and chess puzzle series. So in this series we see all of the possible tactical motifs that can happen in a chess game and today I think I'll show you the most attractive chess tactic that can happen in a chess game and it's called this x-ray attack. The x-ray attack uh, is a term used in chess uh, in which you're basically playing through your opponent's pieces in order to create an attack. You can also play, play to your opponent's pieces in order to defend yourself. Uh, you will see a couple uh, couple of examples in which you're defending yourself and it, in which in some occasions you will uh, create this attack through your opponent's pieces in order to attack him. So you see uh, this is already a position I set you up and uh, we have now the problem this uh, bishop is a uh, little bit stopping the attack uh, it stops uh, this connection between the queen the bishop and the rook and here this x-ray motif is possible here it's possible uh, to connect them through this bishop uh, and play this move uh, queen on h8 uh, and we have here this check uh, so black is forced to recapture here with the bishop bishop takes on h8 and now we have rook takes on h8 a very very nice and effective checkmate here on this eighth rank and uh, basically uh, black was lost uh, after this move queen on h8 so let's see now another example in which you create this x-ray uh, x-ray tactical motif in order to defend yourself here you see in the last move white played bishop on e3 and uh, he uh, attacked this uh, knight on d4, which is a uh, good space advantage advantage that we have created here on the fourth rank. So here the knight is uh, twice attacked. Uh, and how to defend here? We If we try maybe c5, then of course white can play ampassan, d takes c uh, c6, and if we try... Um, uh, b takes c6 then of course uh, white uh, can simply take out this uh, knight on d4 and then after that with the queen so that's not possible that's not good of course let's go back uh, here of course if we take out with the knight on c6 then uh, white can play simply queen on d2 rook on d1 and uh, play on this very weak d6 pawn we will then have a really really hole here in, in our defense here the d5 uh, is also square which is very very weak and uh, of course that's not a good continuation so let's go back here after bishop on e3 here the best move is to play the uh, to play the move rook on e uh, rook on e8 uh, now you see if bishop on e, uh, takes on d4 and e takes d4 queen takes on d4 now cr we created this so-called defensive uh, x-ray uh, tactical motif now we can play knight on e4 uh, with the discovered attack on the queen and now uh, the move uh, the queen has to uh, retreat and we can play knight takes on c3 b takes on c3 and then maybe even queen on f6 attacking the c3 we we are continuing the game with this very nice bishop pair and of course it's a completely uh, winning middle game here for black although black has to struggle here for a win i think uh, this is completely winning for black so let's see now very very nice examples from top grandmasters uh, uh, in which they have really produced this x-ray attack here uh, it's a game played by the legendary mikhail botvinik against uh, milan vidmar and here we have a very nice bishop on b3 it indirectly attacks this knight uh, this king on g8 but these knights are really standing a little bit in the way and we have also here this f7 pawn the rook is also protecting this f7 pawn so here uh, you can pause the video and try to find this x-ray attack uh, against black's defense Okay, uh, for those who have who have solved this uh, tactic, uh, you're a really, really nice tactician because it's not so easy to see. But of course, the next move is knight takes on f7. So we have rook takes on f7 and now we use this x-ray attack. This uh, We are going through the pieces, through black pieces. We are now taking off this uh, knight on f6, bishop takes on f6, but now rook takes on d5. So we, we remove the defender, this knight on f6, which was protecting this knight on d5 so here rook takes on d5 queen has to move now we have rook on d6 of course the queen cannot take then we simply take out this uh, rook on uh, c8 so that's why queen on e8 was played but now uh, 
rook on d7 and in this position black resigned because in the next move we'll simply take out the rook and continue the game with one one rook up and of course it's a winning end game for white so very very strong attack uh, this f7 weakness uh, that was recognized by the legendary Mikhail Botvinnik a very nice x-ray attack and uh, black was helpless after knight on uh, f7 it was uh, basically winning completely winning end game from that point on for white so let's see now another example and it's a game uh, played by Samuel Reshevsky against Sveto are Gligoric, uh, also top grandmasters from the last century and here I want you also to pause the video and find this x-ray attack uh, first of all you should realize that we should use here uh, this uh, very nice diagonal of the bishop on on h2 and of course uh, for those who have solved this puzzle uh, this is really really again a nice nice uh, x-ray attack with the move knight on b5 now uh, we are really liberating all of these files all of these diagonals in 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 the middle game and now black is really forced to do something here uh, c takes uh, b5 was played but now queen takes on c7 bishop takes on c7 rook takes on c7 king takes on c7 and now finally knight on e6 with the double check uh, king on d8 rook ta uh, knight takes the rook on d8 rook takes on d8 and now bishop on uh, b5 here um black uh, black lost the pawn and now white is continuing the game with the bishop pair with one pawn up and of course uh, the legendary samuel reshevsky managed to win this game very easily so at the end of the video of course here is a one chess tactic uh, for you to solve at home again uh, the tactical motive is this x-ray attack so of course uh, i think after this uh, couple of examples before you solve this puzzle very easily and again uh, have, have fun while doing it uh, i think it's a really really nice x-ray attack it's a game played by michael chigorin against carl schlecht okay I hope you enjoyed this video, meanwhile you can watch my other chess tactics and chess puzzle videos from the series with uh, some other tactical motifs that can happen in a chess game and you can also watch my basics in chess series in which I show you uh, the opening principles, middle game strategies and the end game strategies and you can also subscribe to my channel. Thanks you for watching guys and chess is the best of course.